All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh, Bashem Rakadash, Davon, and City Apostles. The elders, a great millstone. So, you take into you, I can present this word with truth, sincerity, with charity. Present anybody as a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live, salute you. All right. Now, I was just thinking about this movie, um, Troy. All right. Um, basically, in this um, scene, um, you know, uh, I guess the scene goes, you know, emo, um, hold on, let me see. Matter of fact, I'm just going to get the clip. Prominence. My brothers of the sword. I'd rather fight beside you than any army of thousands. Let no man forget how menacing we are. We are lions. Do you know what's there? Waiting. Beyond that beach, immortality, take it, it's yours! Right now, there was another scene in that movie. Oh, by the way, fair use, fair use. I'm using this uh, footage under the fair use act. I am not profiting from this footage. Uh, I'm using it for educational purposes only. As this is a period piece, supposedly. It's inaccurate as hell, but... Nevertheless, um, no, actually, it's a story of a period, <laughs> you know, but yeah, but that was a hell of a scene right there, you know, saying immortality, take it, it's yours, you know, and I'm thinking about another particular uh, part in that movie, um, before uh, Achilles goes off to war, he basically, um, uh, he tells one of his friends, basically, that people are going to be talking about this war from generations to come and the men that fought in it. So so he basically wanted to make a name for himself, man. You know, <clears throat> you know, now, you know, um, it's not a, a, a wicked thing to want a name. You know, the scriptures talk about a good, having a good name, man. You know, um, especially um, to be spoke about in the heavens, man. To, to be regarded by the height, by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh man. To have him even speak your name, you know, or even consider you, you know, in this war, you know, you know, because, you know, those that fight this war, this battle that we're fighting, which the scripture says, um, the weapons of our warfare is not carnal, right, but mighty, uh, to the pulling down of strongholds, right? So, you know, this war that we're fighting, man, is a spiritual war. And the men that are fighting in it, their names will be written, um, in immortality, you know, you know, um, and in a war on the battlefield, you know, on the battlefield, there's many, um, positions, you know, um, that, uh, a person can, uh, play on the battlefield, man, you know, many, many different, um, you have medics, you have, uh, snipers, you have, uh, uh, guys who dig ditches, you got guys who crawl through um, holes, <laughs> deal with explosives, you know, depending on what era of war you're talking about, you know. But there's many things, you know, you have people that uh, are just meant to go through, give men water or clean up the battlefield. All these things are needed. And, um, you know, it all reminds me when I first um, met the camp, you know, out in Chicago, you know, I was pretty much a water boy, man. You know, I was Bobby Boucher, you know what I mean? I still am, you know. You know, I still am, you know. But more so then, you know. And uh, I'm thinking about that movie Water Boy, man, because he was, he, you know, he he started out as, uh, you know, just being the guy who brought water. Then he became <laughs> one of the uh, best players on the team, man, you know. But, um uh, um, a, a good warrior starts out as a good 
armor bearer. You know, any you know, brother you know, that understands um, <clears throat> war understands that. Um, but let me grab this scripture. This is Philippians 2 and 1. If there be therefore any consolation in Hamashiach, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the spirit, of any bowels and mercies, Fulfill ye my joy that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one of court and of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind. Let each other esteem other better than themselves. So, you know, we always got to put our brothers, um, the, the body itself before us, you know what I'm saying? You know, and uh, yeah, look not every man on his own things, but every man also on things of the, of others, right? You know, so, hey, man, you know, we got to look out for each other, right? Let the mind, let this, and, 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 hey, you know, because in the, in the, um, in war, man, you need a brother to have your back, man. And you got to be there to have another brother's back. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Hamashiach, Yahushai, who being in the form of Yahweh thought it not robbery to be equal with Yahweh, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men, right? You know, and, and Yahweh Shai gave us an example, you know, when he was here on how we uh, should treat each other, you know what I'm saying? You know, so, you know, in, 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 in warfare, it's not just, you know, you know, you got to be ready to play multiple positions, man. You know, you got to be a, a water boy. You got to be a medic sometimes, you know, sometimes you got to be a sniper. You know, sometimes you got to do hand to hand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. But it, it's all for the, uh, you know, the scriptures talk about the ant. Let me see. You know, you know, an ant has a very small brain, but it, it creates some of the most in, intricate tunnels, man. You know, you know, the Lord um, uh, spiritually programmed uh, them to be like that, you know. Um This is um, Proverbs uh, 6 and 4. Give not sleep to thine eyes, nor slumber to thine eyelids. Deliver thyself as a roe from the hand of the hunter, and as a bird from the hand of the fowler. Go to the ant, thou sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise. Right? Go to the ant, you know, and consider her ways, you know, and be wise, you know. You know, look how uh, ants work within the synergy. You know what I mean? You know, and as the scripture says, man, um, pray for us that the word may have free course, man. You know, because, you know, we got to, you know, in this battle, we got to render unto the Lord what's the Lord's. And we also have to render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's. You know, so we got to be, you know, working, laboring, having the hustle, being able to do something, you know. <laughs> you know but you know all this for the edifying of the body within itself you know as the scripture says the body, the, the body edifieth itself you know and all these uh, things you know whatever gift you have it all contributes to the battlefield man it all contributes to the war effort man you know because hey in the Lord's army man he's not going to leave you Fact, we get a scripture on that. He's not gonna leave you lack. See, Esau, he'll he'll you'll fight in his wars, and he he won't give you shit. <laughs> you know, the Lord says he hates that a, a man of war that suffers poverty. Man. You know. Yeah, 
y'all was y'all about to shoot me on shot is not a uh, man that he should lie, man. All right, so this is uh, Hebrews 6 uh, and 10. For Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shewed towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. All right, so Yahweh is not going to um, have you working and not reward you, man. You know, like Esau. You know, you got a major problem of um, homeless veterans, um, you know, here in uh, Babylon the Great. You know, because that's Esau Edom, man. He's an unjust uh, king, you know. He's an unjust ruler, right? How about me? is not, um, he's not like that, you know. But uh, whatever part the Lord gives you to play in this battle, you know, you got to play You got to play it, man. You know, whatever your talent is, you know, it all uh, adds to the war effort, so to speak, you know. And, you know, just like, you know, I quoted the movie Troy, man. He said this battle is going to be talked about from generations to come. You know, the elect's name is going to be um, famous, for eternity, you know, who could boast that, you know, <laughs> you know, these people of this world, they're not going to be famous for eternity, man, they're going to be uh, forgotten very soon, you know, and right now they're infamous, you know, in the eyes of the Lord because, shit, they are uh, famous for wicked acts, which makes them an enemy of y'all, but should be all shot, man, you know. But we're making a, a, a name for ourselves right now with what we do right now. Um, scripture says we are made a spectacle uh, before angels and men. You know, these things are being written in the heavens as we speak. So <laughs> this is a, a war effort and a battle that will be talked about for generations, man. You know very uh epic time to be alive and the only people that are really alive are the are those that are um quickened you know in the spirit you know but yeah you know just a little lesson i wanted to do hopefully there was some edification within it um shalom and a baba ball